Shorty, please take out. Shortly after the Westgate Mall attack, this picture made the rounds on social media and on online news outlets. It showed a victim of the attack being assisted by two good Samaritans. And it is this selfless act that may have backfired on one of them. It was claimed that she was the suspected terrorist, Samantha Lothwaite. My name's Henna. I'm a mother of two. NTV met the lady at the center of the storm. Henna and her twin boys were shopping at Nakumat, accompanied by her driver, Alan. As we were shopping, we saw lots of people running towards the back aisles. I was in the back aisle as well. And uh, they, they said, fire, fire. So we thought, it's a fire. But it dawned on them that this was no fire and neither was it a robbery. It was something far more serious. So my driver, Alan, he grabbed my kids, you know, he held their hands and they ran to the back. I grabbed my bag and I just ran after them, you know. We all ran to the back of Nakumat, where the hardware store is, and we hid at the back. We thought it was just a normal robbery. Maybe the thieves were by the cashiers, they wanted the money, they'll go away. But it didn't stop there. You know, the gunfire and the bomb blast just kept on going on and on and on. Hena, her children and more than 20 other people, including children, stayed there, unsure of what was happening outside. So I put my kids under the counter, you know, at the back, you know, lie low, and I sat down with them. More than anything, I was worried for my kids. I said, don't move, don't say anything. My kids were terrified. After some time, an Akumat employee opened the door that led to the basement parking and asked them to hide there, quietly. We hid there. You know, we, we couldn't come out this way, we couldn't go to the basement because you don't know where the firing is going to come from, where the blast is going to come from. So we hid. We hid there for so many hours. Kangoja, Kangoja, two hours, three hours. Kama masama tatu na nusu hivi. Ndiyo watu waka, wale tulikuwa nao tukasema tunyamaze ya tazababu watu juu ni kitu wani inaendelea. Another Nakumat employee came to get them and they were asked to go across to the other side of the supermarket. We were so scared because we know they're in the Nakumat, you know. We know that they're, they're shooting randomly, you know, and why do we want to go out there? But anyway, he reassured us and, and one by one, you know, we, we were ducking from aisle to aisle to aisle. And that is when she noticed a woman on the floor, alone. As I was leaving, you know, I looked on the left hand side and there was this lady, she was injured, she was full of blood, she was... She was in shock because she was so badly injured, you know, and everybody had run away. There was no one helping her. She was not with anyone, you know, so I grabbed her as well. I said, come with me. And we ran. We ran all the way down the driveway to the main road. Watu sasa kila mtu anakimbia. Hakuna mtu anashuhulika na mwingine. Sasa mimi nikumwangalia nisimuache nyuma sababu mimi niko na watoto wawili wake vijana. Nimeshika na mkono moja hii na yeye right and left. Sasa ndiyo nikaona anauliza huyu mama. Kuna mtu walikuwa na msaidia na alikuwa na damu ilikuwa na natoka kwa kichwa. At the time, Hena had no idea of what would be the consequences of her selfless act. Yes, it's turning into a nightmare because I did what I felt was right at that point to help someone. But it's, it's being turned into something which is not true. I was stuck in there with my kids and I was scared. All she wants now is to go on with her life, understanding how lucky she and her sons are to have come out of Westgate Mall alive. Hena is a Kenyan and a marketing manager at a local company, a totally different person from Samantha, who is a British national suspected to be involved in the Westgate attack. Jamila Mohammed, NTV.